let's start in let me go back to YouTube channel here I have uploaded a few videos on VMware administration earlier on VMware ESXS 6.5 but I've got a few comments from subscribers saying 6.7 videos are required so I thought of doing the same but I have a small problem here problem is whatever the videos that I'm recording or the sessions I'm recording I'm recording on one small desktop I'm building the lab on desktop which contains 32 GB RAM SSD 20 GB SSD and one more 1 TB SATA which I'm not using much but this small desktop Asus Asus board Intel i5 processor okay and I, I didn't remember exactly what I did when I'm installing the ESXA on top of this base desktop currently it is having ESXi 6.0 okay that time I did some R&D and uh, customize the ISO and then install the ESXA so now again the same problem because if I want to install if I want to build the 6.7 ESX 6.7 lab on top of 6.0 it is not supporting because of the VMware hardware version mismatch so the only solution is I need to bring this ESXi 6.0 to 6.5 so I'm trying to upgrade this host it is not supporting it is getting a very common error is no network adapter phone If most of you have seen the same error when you're installing this is the error I'm getting and I know the solution the solution is my desktop doesn't comes under the generic drivers which are supported in the offline bundle so I need to have some custom drivers okay so I got the custom drivers this is the, this is the custom driver I need so I have downloaded this VIB file. This is the custom driver. What I need to do is, so I have a custom driver VIB. I need the offline bundle of 6.5 and I need to embed this into this image by using ESXi customize okay so you can download this if you are ever facing the issue and ESXi customizer you can also download this you can download this okay <clears throat> and you can create custom image so how to create a custom image let's see quickly so I've already kept everything ready let's try it out this is the custom image sorry customizer and the driver and the base image I have downloaded from VMware so let me run extract okay so extracted so ESXA customizer command run as administrator Error on supported Windows 6. I know the solution. Open with Notepad. So, yesterday I did a lot of RD on this. So, Windows XP is required. So, what I'll do is I'll remove this and Control S. Save, close now run it again see started functioning so what you need select the original ESX image I'll try with 6.7 first then we can try with others 6.7 and I need select the 
VAB or offline bundle, whatever the driver that you're looking for, you want to insert. I have this bundle. And where you want to save it? Under the same folder, run. Extracted, extracted, so extracted everything. Okay, three folder files. Checking the media. An archive editor. Fine. So it's not working. Then, so let me <clears throat> run it once again. I'll try with six point five. Six point five. At least a six point five is required. Otherwise, it's difficult for me. Yeah, in the same location. I want to keep it. Extract. It's working for 6.5 it is working 6.7 it's not working oh image is also great so quick then go back and you will see the custom image has been created so what you have to do a lot else I'll do 6.5 custom drivers okay so I have image width base ESXi along with the custom drivers the image is created now so what I will do is <clears throat> I want to make this as a bootable so how to make this as a bootable ISO so there's a tool called Rufus it so it's my thumb drive here here it is <clears throat> so let me is it the thumb drive yeah so I have the Rufus so what you need to do is select the ISO image which you want to A bootable image. So this is the custom driver. Six point five. Okay. Right. Okay. Fine. So let's see. Okay. It's copying. So yeah, the thumb drive is dry. Uh, thumb drive is ready. <clears throat> now it's bootable. Uh, what what is needed? I just need to insert this into the desktop and upgrade the ESXi, and then continue with the rest of the sessions. So we'll we'll do that in a couple of days. So you'll see some of the videos that pop up on the same channel going forward. Okay, thank you.